When suspects try to flirt with police officers, cops need to stay alert and maintain their objectivity. But sometimes it might get harder than you'd think. But you are handsome. You're gonna put it in my mouth. I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. Do you want a bang? These are women who shamelessly flirted with the police officer. On January 5th, 2022, officers responded to a car accident. As they soon learned from the woman whose vehicle got hit, the main perpetrator was allegedly under the influence. The 23-year-old suspect, let's call her Amber, was coming home from her job at a local bar. Where do you work at? I talk to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a waitress there. Okay. And that's he's already gonna, disappointing. Gonna, They're like, you worked at a bar. Get some yeah, boo. Okay. Despite facing a potential arrest, Amber didn't hesitate to crack jokes with the cops. To be fair, the cops were not exactly serious either. Uh, you're not hurt or anything like that, right? No. Just your feelings, huh? I guess so. Okay. Do you have your driver's license? Yes, right sir, here. absolutely. Perfect. Okay. Would you like to have it? Yeah. When the topic came around her alleged intoxication, Amber wasn't exactly convincing. She claimed to have drunk the exact amount within a legal limit. How much have you had to drink today? Not very much. Okay, what is not very much? Like the legal limit. Okay, which is what? Like, very, not very much because I ate and I drank okay. waters between cool. two Tito's. Oh, okay. And so vodka? Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you for telling me being honest. Yes, but Tito's. I was there for like five hours, so... Where, where at? At Vita's. Oh, okay. At Buffalo I... Wild Wings. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Cool. All right. I appreciate your honesty. Amber admitted to having been drinking vodka during her shift. The fact that she ate and drank water in the meantime didn't fly as a sufficient excuse, so the cops initiated a field sobriety test, which turned out to be a struggle that could only end with Amber in handcuffs. How in the hell, respectfully, am I going to go six inches? Okay, and now while you look, tip your toe, count out loud like so. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, so on and uh, so forth until instructed to stop. Do you understand? Alright, ma'am, go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me, okay? You're being placed under arrest for DUI. On the way to the police station, Amber couldn't stop talking to the police officer. As it was her first arrest, she started to realize the consequences and regret kicked in. Did the contents of my purse possibly go to my sister? Well, you have a bunch of stuff in there, a bunch of cash and everything. Do you want everything to go or what? Yeah, I want them to at least go to my sister. Please. If possible, thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. God, I'm sorry. You don't. You don't need to apologize. You know, I'm doing my job. That's all. I know, and I respect that. I respect your job. I'm just sorry. You have to deal with people like me. I never thought it would be me, like in this predicament. But that's what all of everybody says is like you never think it's you but once they arrived at the station amber was in her jolly mood once again i'm getting prepared yeah. i'm sorry <laughs> you don't need i hope i haven't done, been disrespectful no, i hope i haven't been disrespectful to your job <sighs> i don't know how much do you make on a normal night uh like six to eight hundred one night yeah it's good oh my gosh okay all right it's ready for you again man the same thing as you did last time okay okay yes sir oh my oh, god i'm sorry no, i tripped you That's no fun. i tripped myself please I'm sorry, I tripped over, I tripped over you. At this point, it was clear that Amber will spend the night in jail for DWI and she will most likely lose her driving license. But this didn't stop Amber from beginning to bond with the officer. While remaining respectful, she started showering the cop with subtle compliments. Jeez, I'm not good at math. You're gonna make me, me work. as a server, I just like, I don't know. Yeah, like yeah. last week, my, my sister job. got mad at me last week because we played like a game for Christmas, you know? Yeah. Or like New Year's, and she was like, why do you have two grand in cash in your f 
in person, and she came at me, and I'm like, I'm sorry, like, it's just, like, my job, and I don't even think about it. All right, so I'm going to count this in front of I you. I remember you. You would come up to the Ocotillo with your face mask, and I'd be like, that one is so fine. Yeah. And then, like, respectfully, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Obviously, because, like, I'm a mess right now. But I'm like, that one is so fine. you come up with, like, two other officers, and you would come up to the O, oh, like, we're looking, like, the last time I saw you, we were like, we're looking for this man, and then you would list out the description, and I was like, no, sir, I'm sorry, like, I'm yeah. check the, uh, the patio, and then I'll be like, go inside, and I'll come back out, and I'm like, I can't find him, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but you probably don't remember me. No, no, I remember the... I was, I was yeah. cuter than this, but, yeah. <laughs> Right, you me. had your face mask on, but I was like, that man is so fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's get back to business, Obviously, nobody though, wants huh? to date anyone that's looking like this, so, yeah. And going to jail, you. But, yeah. You are such a happy man. Oh, Respect thank you. Fully. I appreciate that. I do. You bet. All right, ready? So, there's one, two, three. I need to get a new job. You'll be walking around with cash uh. like this. I'll be having a hard time trying to get groceries. Oh, you need a date? But the flirting escalated way further when Amber was being taken to a hospital for a medical check. Only this time, it was Amber who began fishing for compliments. I hope at least I'm like one of the cuter people that you've had in your cop car. Oh. <laughs> Do not confirm or deny, please. Oh uh, yeah, I can't talk about that. Yeah, you can. For legal purposes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too cute for prison. Don't do that to me. I've watched many documentaries. You're going to have to come back here and um, unbuckle me, though, because I'm kind of locked in here. Anyways, I'm sorry you're stuck with me, though. That's all right. You know, I've been, like I said, with worse. You're just doing your job, huh? Yes, ma'am. You're just doing your job, and you're stuck with my dumb unfortunately. I guess you could be stuck with worse. You could be stuck with somebody stinky and ugly, and I'm neither. <laughs> Did you say stinky? Yeah. Stinky and ugly. <laughs> but I'm neither. I'm cute. So, and I don't belong in jail, but I guess I have to get dressed in that uniform, which is very embarrassing. What do you suggest? You're there, so go ahead. Smirk, maybe a little. Okay, maybe a little. <laughs> You're right. Hey, hey, come over here. This way. Oh, I'm sorry. I just want to say hi. Come over here. The flirtatious behavior didn't stop at the hospital. It seems like Amber knew half of the staff there, so she probably felt really comfortable calling the cop cute multiple times. Judging by the cop's reaction, it's possible that meeting outside the police station hasn't been completely ruled out. At least, the officer seems like he was testing the waters. Look how cute he is. Okay. Because, because, because you're so cute, sir. Oh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Super happy right now. Hey, might as well choose to be happy if you're in a shit situation. Are you sure they're being happy? Yep. In the grand scheme of things, yeah. what happened tonight is nothing near what, hey, what? the worst shit I've ever seen. So. I think you just said follow me. Mm -hmm. Do you work all week or what? Every day? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You work every single night? Every single day. No kidding? Yeah. What time do you normally go in? Six. And you guys get off what close it at like midnight? Yeah. Oh, okay. But like us cleaning up afterwards, we go home later. Oh, I see. But you don't get paid hourly, huh? You just get tips or what? Exactly. Like uh -huh. we do get paid hourly, hourly, but like um, our tips cancel out. Like right, so we get paid hourly. If you make more than minimum depending wage, depending on what you claim. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You get it. I know how it works. I used to be a server, believe it or not. Yes. Uh, no, I In Crucis. Okay. Where did you work? Applebee's. Do you love it? Uh, no, I didn't like no, it. Didn't no, it wasn't my Aww. thing. You were too cute for Applebee's. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the only place they hire dudes. So. <laughs> <laughs> she was charged with aggravated DWI, mandatory financial responsibility, reckless driving, and traffic lanes. It's just unfortunate that this cop didn't meet Amber at a bar. Maybe things would have ended with a night at his place instead of the jail. Their last conversation sounds more like an end of a successful first date, rather than a cop putting a suspect behind bars. Well, I appreciate your company. Thank you so much for being a gentleman. I really do appreciate it so, so much. It's not the best company, but... No, you were the best company I could ever ask for. Trust me. Thank you. Very kind of you. Yes, yes. How I've... old are you? 27. <gasps> Very young. No. Too young. What's that? Yes, you're young. Yeah, I hope so. 27, that sounds yes. like it. I feel old though. No. I feel young. I work too much. Yes. 
you probably do work too much. <laughs> yeah. But you are handsome. Oh, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you. I you're appreciate welcome. that. You're welcome. Not to make us feel awkward. But the next suspect's flirting was unfortunately far from being so smooth. The cops were called to a minor traffic accident where 38-year-old Amy Harrington rear-ended another vehicle. By the way she leaned on the hood of the car, it seems like flirting her way out of trouble is Amy's daily bread and butter. She wasted no time and went straight to her game. What's the best... My phone number? Well, for the, for the report, yes, ma'am. What's the best way that the DHSMB can get in contact? Are you injured at all? Okay. Is this your vehicle? Are you the yes. registered owner? Okay. Yeah. You want to check it? No, no, no. That's fine. Go ahead and check it. Do you have your uh, license by any yeah, chance? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. If you have it. At least one of the cops present seemed to be enchanted by Amy's magic. As she was describing the crash to them, making various excuses, the cops realized they needed to call for backup. And so, a female police officer arrives. And by the look on Amy's face, this was a major obstacle for her plan. This deputy is going to have a conversation with me. Hello. You alright? You're not gonna let me go, are you? What? That's why you brought a female officer. So I'm just here to make sure it's safe for you to drive, that's all. Yeah, so you wanna get in the car with me? Have you ever been diagnosed with a speech impediment? No. No? So it's normal for you to slur your words? I've always been a little insane. Where are you coming from? Work! Okay. Hello? I'm sorry, I, I don't know where that is. I, I see your shirt now. Okay. Where are you headed to? Home! He stopped and I was trying to get home and he stopped and okay. I was just trying to get home. I'm home. I'm going home. Where do you live? Down here in this yes! Place? Okay. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to take a look at your eyes. Make sure it's safe for you to be driving. Okay? Any physical defects? Any bionic body parts, cadaver knees, titanium hips, no, anything of that no, nature? No, no, no. One leg longer than the other? Glass or prosthetic eye, they both look real. I have to ask, it's a weird question. <laughs> Amy's whole plan fell apart and she immediately became agitated. Knowing her riz won't save her from the female officer, she gets almost combative during questioning. So, stand there, your arms down at your side. I want you to just focus on the top of my oh, pen right trying here. to give me a f I know what you're doing. What am I doing? I'm I know what you're your doing. Eyes. I know what you're doing. And I did. Were you about to Yes. Okay. I know what you're trying to do. What am I trying to do? You're I just want to look at your eyes. So I'd like to take a look at your eyes. Are you going to allow me to do that? But see, here's the thing is I've already told you that I already know what you're doing. Okay. And I can tell you what you're doing. And I see my car right here. So what does that tell you? That tells you that I already know. That shows that I'm come. I know what I'm dealing with. Why do you keep closing your eyes every time I try to move the stimulus? You're obviously going to take me. Are you in handcuffs right now? Just take my car in a safe place. Okay. I don't want you to stare at me either. I want you to What do you follow. want? Okay, I've told you multiple times. I want you to follow the top of the pin with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Okay. Why do you keep looking away? Because you're the pen. All right, give me the pen. No, no you is. You want to see my eyes? I do, and I've told you I then want you to follow show the, the light in them. Okay, can you see the top right there? No, because it's not. It's a black pen. Okay, can and you're you shining right light there? in my eyes. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I can see your eyes. You can't see my eyes if you're shining a light in them. Okay. So I think I'm sorry. I think, your level of I think your level of impairment is making this a little difficult for you. I am just a f tired okay. bartender. I understand okay? you're tired. I understand Do you have you have any tired. idea how much f I just want to go home. But at this point, out of desperation, she comes up with an unexpected plan B to tackle the challenge of a field sobriety test. As a retired ballerina, Amy decides to try to dance her way out of the arrest. That's what you sound like. You're going to count out loud in a matter of 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, until I tell you to stop. So it'll look like this. I'm 
1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, till I tell you to stop. For any reason you have to put your foot down, I want you to bring it right back up and continue counting from the left off that. I don't want you to sway, I don't want you to hop, I don't want you to put your foot down or even your arms for balance. Do you understand all those instructions? Okay. Any questions? Any questions regarding the exercise? Any reason you cannot complete this exercise? Because you sound like my ballet coach. Are you going to do the one leg stand? that I demonstrated, okay? Are you gonna, are you gonna do it? Or are you just gonna keep doing ballet moves and dancing around? Okay, I haven't told you to start yet. Do this as a ballerina. <laughs> understand? Amy was charged with DUI and refusal to submit to testing. She was sentenced to 30 days in the county jail and 60 days on a GPS monitor upon her release. After her release, she was sentenced to another 120 days in jail due to failing a urine test. Twice. But if you thought Amy was too drunk, 48-year-old Kelly Barton took her drinking to the next level. She drove into a lamppost next to a local gas station while transporting a special needs patient. Were you driving? No. How'd you get here? Because I didn't ever leave. Kelly admitted to drinking, but denied ever driving. But unfortunately for her, the security camera proved otherwise. It took the cops several minutes to get her out of the car. Here, hold my hand, and I'm going to get you out, okay? So I need you to come out with me, all right? Because we're going to work Listen, together, Kelly. okay? Listen to my partner, please. Yeah, come on, Kelly. Please. Yes, I'm going to get you I'm going to get you these shoes, all right? Just, Go ahead, please. Sit back up. Just sit back up for me and come on out. We have an ambulance coming to check you out. Just make sure you're okay. Yep. You, you can tell them you don't want them, but we need it. It's part of our uh, policy, okay? But Kelly, I need you to hop out of this car for me, okay? Yes, sir. Very well. Go on. Come on. I got your hand. I'll help you out. Ready? Here we go. There we go. All right. Now get your feet out. Kelly, go ahead and get your feet out for me, okay? Let's get this, this foot right here first. And I'll let you lean up on my car, okay? Why is I doing this? Because I have to, all right? So come on out with me, okay? I appreciate you. Just come on out. I'm a pretty nice guy. What ambulance? It is coming, but you can't get the ambulance to check you out in here. So come on out for me, Kelly. Despite being almost unconscious in the car, the minute she saw the paramedics, her behavior was changed. Suddenly, she became energetic and began flirting with the first responders. Hey, hey. <laughs> I want the little young boys. Ask me how I'm feeling. Let the little young boys oh, tell me. Boy. Yeah, yeah, He's right. young. Uh -huh. Toon, she doesn't want you, man. <laughs> Who won't want me? Toon doesn't want. Who won't want me? I want you. You're good. You're cool with me, okay? You ain't got to want me. Want Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. What I would do to you with your blue. So let me check your blood sugar okay. real quick. Hey, what is y'all doing to me out here tonight? Okay, ready? hold on. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Right here. It's over. We're done. That's it. What's your date of birth? May 28, 1974. 
Here come Gemini, look at you. You so damn handsome. Thank you. Landers. Landers. Yep, that's that's the last thing. Your name. ain't ready for me tonight. Oh, man, I don't think so either. Oh, Mr. But can I put a band-aid on you? Ah, uh, You yeah, ask why I'm bleeding. Yeah, I'm going to put a band-aid on you. Y'all done cost me to bleed. I didn't. He did. Look at you, Landers. Yeah. Hi, What's up? And this mayhem continues as the officers ask Kelly to participate in a field sobriety test. I would do him in a way that he won't even. <laughs> hey, look. He can look tough all he won't, right? Mm -mm. Don't let me get him. Look at you. And you got eyelashes like my son. They're pretty nice, aren't they? They are. Obviously, the sobriety test was only a formality. Kelly was put into handcuffs and arrested. She was later charged for OVI and patient endangerment, and she was fired from her transportation job. But Jenna Maldonado could have expected a better outcome. She was pulled over due to a suspicion of DUI. Little did the officer know that this encounter was about to become one of the most hilarious moments of his career. Do you hear to put it in my mouth? I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Jenna remained remarkably composed throughout the situation and even answered with brutal honesty. Went over the line. I will tell you I don't ever signal. Okay. Well, you... So that is an honest thing, but okay. I don't ever signal. All right, how much did you drink today? Uh, earlier. How much was, how much was there? Like a beer earlier. Just one beer? About a beer. About a beer? About a beer. So the, was, it, was it one beer or was it more than one beer? About a beer. Aside from the vague beer count, Jenna was surprisingly open with the officer, answering his questions as if she were completely innocent. She even switched to a higher-pitched voice, a common sign of women's attraction. In addition to that, Jenna kept smiling at the officer's face throughout the whole reaction test. It's reasonable to suggest that the officer and Jenna appeared to have a notable chemistry. Interestingly, the subtle hints of attraction seemed to intensify between them as they continued their interaction. So happy. Oh, sorry. I literally feel like I have a. Yeah, you do. Yeah, hair. you do. And it's bothering me. Thank you. Out. Until this point, Jenna and the officer remained within acceptable boundaries. However, the situation took a significant turn when it was time to collect Jenna's breath sample. Right now, the machine, right now the machine says, please blow until tone stops. Let me know if you want to give me two breath samples. Where should I blow? What's that? Where should I blow? Well, if you want to, just tell, okay, so right here's a brand new mouthpiece. No one's ever used it. Okay. What you're going to do is you take a deep breath and blow like a balloon. Don't stop blowing until I tell you to. You're going to put it in my mouth? I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Tell me when. Whenever you're ready. Take a deep breath and blow. Like, like, like a balloon. Harder. Harder. Okay. There you go. Okay. Blow constantly like a balloon. Like blow, like blow up a balloon. You know, you know how big a balloon, balloon is? Well, Take I a deep breath. I have an idea in my mind and it seems weird. Sorry. Okay. Don't let it be weird. So what now? Take a deep breath and blow hard like a balloon. Harder, 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 harder. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't change your flow. Up, oh, you change your flow. Take a deep breath from your lungs and blow hard. Blow. Nope. Harder, harder. Keep going. Don't stop. A little harder. Thank you. I tried. There's your first sample. What does that mean? 0.15. And that means? You're almost, you're almost to the aggravated level. You're almost, you're almost twice the legal limit. Twice the legal limit? Almost. You're not wrong. No, I'm not, because I heard you's right. Take the breath and blow. You're wrong. <laughs> Harder. Harder. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Up. Oh, oh, you change your flow. Okay, so, yeah, you did, because the machine actually knows. So, deep breath. Like, That's fine. I'm trying. I know. I know you're doing what you asked. Hard breath. Hard. Harder. Keep that tone going. Harder. Nope. Nope. Keep going. More. Nope. You, you keep stopping. <laughs> <laughs> you, come on. Come on, Jenna. You got this. Take a deep breath and blow. Oh, no. It's not that. It's funny. It's what you're saying. Well, what am I saying? Keep going. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> okay, take a deep breath Sorry. and blow. One big breath. Nope, not hard enough. 
Good. Harder. Keep that tone going. Harder. Harder. Oh, no. Hard. Do you hear that tone? You don't, do you? Yeah, that's because you're not blowing hard enough. <laughs> Take a deep breath. One big breath and blow hard. I'm trying. Hard. Nope. Keep going. Nope. You here. Here. Maybe. Maybe if you stand up. Let's stand up, Jenna. I don't think that's gonna work. It might. You never know. We'll try it. Take a deep breath and blow hard. Harder. You're not. You're not blowing. Cause the, yeah. No. I'm blowing. You're not blowing a feather off your hand. Blow a balloon up. A nice big breath. I'm doing my best for you. Thank you. Harder. Nope. Nope. Keep that tone going. Keep going. Harder. Nope. Oh, I ran out of breath. Keep up. No. Nope. Okay. Hey, Jenna. Here. You see me. I know. I, and I am blowing. Yeah, but you're not blowing hard enough. So take a deep breath and like this. <sighs> Just keep, just like that. Let's try that one. Ready and go. Harder. Nope. Harder. I'm going harder. Harder. Nope. Keep going. Don't stop. Nope. Oh, nope. You keep changing. Harder. I'm not changing anything. <sighs> Hard. Just like that. Nope. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Almost. Nope. Keep going. No. Okay. I am trying my hardest for you. Thank you. Okay, it's okay. Just have a seat. Oh, hope that's not aggravated because I'm attempting. No, I didn't say it's aggravated because you are attempting. Okay. You're mad at me. I'm not. Mad. I'm not mad. Trust me. It takes it takes a lot more more than that to get me mad. You saw me. I did. I did. Jenna's giggles and open expressions of attraction toward Officer Lefebvre make it evident that she is finding it difficult to control herself. She becomes increasingly forward, dropping suggestive remarks about the breath sampling method. However, Officer Lefebvre remains composed and unresponsive to her advances. He even skillfully dodges an almost direct invitation for a date. What's that? that we may have one on a date tomorrow. A date tomorrow? Well, you're gonna be in jail, girl. I have to go off so if you were to just take me home. I'd have got, got fired. No, I can't. Okay, I, I, I can't be taking you home. Okay. Your phone's gonna be charging up. I'm putting you in there temporarily. I'll let it charge up a little bit more. Any questions before we go in there? Or you go in there? What am I gonna go in there and do? Just sit on the bench. I have to pee. You have to pee. Right, right this way. Jenna's hopes were dashed and she had to spend a night in jail. Given the fact that Officer Lefebvre is widely recognized as a seasoned pro among police officers, any potential seduction techniques were unlikely to work on him, which can't be said about this officer who was left blushing in disbelief. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing stories like these.